I had to go in and pay the bill today. And the finance woman asked me, uh, is your husband here? I lied. I said he had to work, but he didn't have to work. He refuses to go back. He said, no more. He says he can't take it. Sonny? Aaron? Genevieve? Albert? Josephine? I named all of my babies. I loved them as if I had held them. And he can't go back. Are you drinking enough water? Yeah, I do drink water. Mm. You might want to drink a little more. Maybe two and a half liters a day for your complexion. Oh! I brought you a present! Breathe it in. It's empty. Breathe it in. A breath of fresh air from my garden. <laughs> You're a breath of fresh air, Amy. Oh, so cute! This is where we're at, Mr. Anderson. Well, it's not good enough. This is what I pay you for to stop this from happening. You pay me to give you the best advice, which is exactly what I'm doing. And that's the deal. Being accused of international drug trafficking tends to limit your options. How do I persuade my wife to leave? I think the threat of the alternative will work. <sighs> Would you be able to pack up and leave everything you've ever known? I did, Mr. Anderson. When I moved here. Do you know these men? I do. And you're sure that we can be protected? You need to go and talk to your wife. It's the best alternative. <sighs> She's going to kill me. Tell her she can keep the dog. Maybe that'll help. 